Welcome to Sports Illustrated's Experts Corner. I'm Don Banks with a look at the NFL playoffs. Which rookie quarterback will have the best chance to win an NFL playoff game this weekend? I'm going to go with Seattle's Russell Wilson. He's not the rookie with the big name reputation like Andrew Luck or Robert Griffin, but his production has been truly astounding in his first year as a third round pick out of the University of Wisconsin. Wilson's got a great team around him, a tremendous Seattle secondary, a really strong Marshawn Lynch running game. I think the Seahawks right now are really playing better than any team in the NFL outside of Denver, and I think that gives them a great chance to go on the road and quiet what's sure to be a rabid Washington Redskins crowd. Will the Houston Texans make the Super Bowl? Sorry, Texans fans. I was on the bandwagon early this season. I picked Houston to win the AFC, but I don't like their mojo late in the season. They lost three out of their last four games, kind of getting embarrassed at home by the Vikings, beat badly on the road in New England. And I think right now they're a team that's its confidence is shaken. Matt Schaub, their quarterback, is going to make his first career playoff start this weekend. He's clearly not showing up in the biggest games of the seasons. It's not a good omen heading into such a tough AFC playoff bracket with the likes of Denver, New England, and Baltimore this year. I say the Texans win one game at best in January. Which top seed is the most vulnerable as the NFL playoffs open? I go with the Atlanta Falcons, the top seed in the NFC for the second time in three years. Head coach Mike Smith, quarterback Matt Ryan are in the playoffs for the fourth time in their five years together. But they're still winless, 0-3, and they need to get rid of that goose egg. That puts a lot of pressure on them to get it done in the divisional round playoffs against whoever they open with. Two years ago, we saw them lose to the Packers in that situation. They have to handle the pressure of expectations a little bit better this year. They have to get a lot more points on the board than they did last year at the playoff loss against the Giants, 24-2 in the Meadowlands. I think the Falcons are the team that's most under the gun as the playoffs open. Who's the best quarterback in the NFL playoffs? You have to go with New England's Tom Brady. He's been to five Super Bowls since 2001, winning three rings. His record as a starter in January, 16-6. and six. Nobody really can match it. Aaron Rodgers is great. Peyton Manning has a, a tremendous resume. But Brady, with those 16 postseason wins, six conference title appearances, including five victories, he's the guy that gives the Patriots the clear edge this January whenever he takes the field. Who's the best coach in the NFL playoffs? I'm going to go way out on a limb here and name Bill Belichick of the New England Patriots. Three Super Bowl rings, five Super Bowl appearances with the Patriots. 10 out of 12 years in the Tom Brady starting era, the Patriots have won the division title. There's only two other coaches in this year's playoffs that own Super Bowl rings. Mike Shanahan in Washington, he earned two with Denver in the late 90s, and of course Mike McCarthy with the 2010 Green Bay Packers. So Belichick kind of laps this field and then some. And it's all that postseason experience that should come in handy as the Patriots make yet another run for that elusive fourth Super Bowl ring. What storyline am I interested in the most in this year's NFL playoffs? All the youth on display at quarterback. For the first time ever, we have three rookie starters making the field. Andrew Luck in Indianapolis, Russell Wilson in Seattle, Robert Griffin III in Washington. On top of that, there's three quarterbacks who are just in their second NFL season. Colin Kaepernick in San Francisco, Christian Ponder in Minnesota, and Andy Dalton in Cincinnati. Only Dalton among that six has a playoff start to their credit. So it's going to be a great, uh, fascinating blend of youth and experience in this year's playoffs. Half the field has a lot of experience, the Mannings, the Bradys, the Rodgers, the Matt Ryans, and then half are really untested and unproven in the January spotlight. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers. They're number two seed in the NFC. I just think their road to New Orleans is a little bit easier than anybody that's going to come out of the AFC this year. The Niners have a great defense. They hit as hard as anyone in the league. They have a running game led by Frank Gore and others. And I don't think second-year quarterback Colin Kaepernick is going to be a hindrance. I think he's going to actually have a January to remember. He's going to give defenses a lot to worry about with both his arm and his legs. 
I guess lastly, I just trust Niners coach Jim Harbaugh. I think he burns with a desire to bring Super Bowl glory back to San Francisco. They got close last year, losing in overtime at home against the Giants in the NFC title game. I think they're motivated to get it done this year. San Francisco 49ers beating the Denver Broncos in the Super Bowl in New Orleans.